How's it going? Thanks for tuning in. I decided to do a random live stream. Um, I am doing a live stream with Playing for Change next week, Saturday. So I thought I would test it out, make sure everything works, make sure you guys can hear me. And at the moment, I'm not in my apartment. I like to come to um, Jonathan's house when I'm feeling a little, you know, stir crazy. So I'm here out in Wahiwa enjoying. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Um, I'm out here in Wahiwa, chilling out, and I'm going to play some music for you. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's see. I've got a bunch of different instruments with me. i got my guitar, and i got my baritone with me. So let's go for um, maybe David Bowie. What do you guys think? You want some David Bowie? Do you want something slow, David Bowie? I don't know. Let's just do it. Here we go. Hope you guys are staying safe, by the way. Staying indoors, wearing your cloth masks. This song is called, um, what is it called? Space Oddity.
Sorry guys, that one was Space Oddity. I'm just making sure all of this is working out. I hope you guys are doing well. Where are you guys from, by the way? Where are you guys um, coming from? Hey, how's it going? Can't sleep? Well, I hope this music will help, help you sleep. Um, yeah, I'll be doing a playing for change live stream on their channel. So I just wanted to make sure my stuff works. Plus I don't have any gigs coming up, so I'm going to have to make some money somehow. So, um, just trying to figure out how to do this whole live streaming thing. Seattle, Florida. How's it going from Spain? Ole, Indiana. Oh my goodness. You guys are all over Brazil, Mexico. Thanks for tuning in. And um, let's see, I think I'm gonna do, it's hard because I feel bad because like the neighbors, are, I just feel like I'm being really loud. But hey, it's Samoa. Ooh, <clears throat> I do know a new Samoan song. I'm gonna try it. <coughs>
accidentally cut his finger. Hopefully he's better. How's your finger? Is it okay? He cut his finger. Um, thanks for the $5, by the way. I appreciate the donation. Um, it's super helpful right now, so thank you. Jonathan, come say hi. <laughs> this is Jonathan. He's my percussionist, and this is his house. And he's cutting the bamboo right now. This is, this is him. And he's cutting the bamboo and accidentally cut his finger and thought he had to go to the hospital, but he's also very dramatic. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right, let's do um, some Carmen for you now. Um, yeah, he's okay. Thank you. He's okay. Dad, I'm not playing that song. All right, I'm sorry. I'm not playing that song. Oh, someone says hello from the Philippines. From where? From the Philippines. Let's do some Carmen for you. Um, he, he says Mabu hi. Cheers. Oh, are we social distancing? Well, we're like living together, so we're social distancing from everyone else. But, you know, we're kind of together, <laughs> okay? All right, and I see that Jolene. Anyways, here we go, let's do Carmen.
so that was like, um, <clears throat> that was Carmen for you, Olay. Um, and I did see uh, Jolene as a uh, request. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Jolene. I haven't played it in so long. And Jonathan is he's working on his bamboo right now, so you might hear that. But um, hey, Hugh, thanks so much for the $10. You guys are super sweet. Thank you so much for um, donating. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well in um, self-isolation as well. Uh, you guys are awesome, so let's do this again. And uh, yeah, let's do, um, thanks, Alan. I will, I'll keep it up. Thank you, it's a cute pair exercising. <laughs> Um, I did my yoga this morning. Uh, I love yoga. Um, anyways, I feel like my neighbors are like watching me, judging me. Um, so I'm going to do a uh, Jolene for you and hopefully I, I remember the words. Here we go. <clears throat> Jolene, I think I played in B minor. I think, yeah. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Jolene, 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 Jolene. Oh, I'm begging of you, please don't take my Jolene and I see a request for Led Zeppelin uh, which I'm gonna go ahead and play next but I wanted to show you guys the yard because you know you guys are just seeing this wall but check out here is some gorgeous outdoorsy yardness there's Jonathan <laughs> working what are you he's doing something he likes to pick weeds so um yeah, he's been uh, working on his uh, bamboo. I don't know if you can see the bamboo, but this is the bamboo that he was cutting down. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a nice Saturday indoors, outdoor, you know, like outdoors, but at home um, and self-isolating. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna do Led Zeppelin for you, but I'm not gonna do cashmere. I'm gonna do stairway to heaven and before that i'm going to do um tico 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 which is a classic 
And I wish I knew Fly Me to the Moon, but I don't. I'm sure I could figure it out, but um, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do some Led Zeppelin Tico Tico classicalness for y'all. Sorry, <laughs> trying to make it work. All right. Hello, yes, Brazil, Brazil. Olha que coisa mais linda, mais cheia de graça. Ela menina que tem que passa. Mahalo, Barbara. That is cute. Thank you so much for uh, the $10. Really appreciate it. And Argentina, I'll, I'll have, nice to see you. Um, Turkey, wow. Ooh, Russian or German songs? No, but if you have any suggestions, I would like to learn a German and a Russian song. So please do. Um, can I do Girl from Ipanema? I wish I remember the chords, but um, let me do, yeah, Tico Tico. And then we're going to go into Led Zeppelin, um, Sarah to Heaven. Because cashmere is a little hard, like, on my own without the guitarist. <laughs>
right, you guys, that was a bunch of things. That was like Led Zeppelin and Beethoven and Tico Tico and then Cashmere. Thanks, Ghost Panther. <laughs> um, all right, well, I heard, yeah, bad guy. I don't know bad guy. Sorry, I don't know any Billie Eilish. But I do know, someone asked me if I knew a song in Spanish. So this is kind of a new one and this one's dedicated to my Generation X's. Um, this is a medley just for fun. Um, it's Riptide, uh, like the most popular ukulele song besides Somewhere Over the Rainbow, into um, a Spanish song. So I'm going to play it. It's fun, and I hope you guys like it. And thank you so much for donating. I really um, am super grateful for that, and I'm glad that I'm able to help you feel calm or excited or just something positive. Yes, Over the Rainbow, I've got lots of songs to play for you um, to get ready for my Playing for Change live stream, which is going to be next Saturday. Um, I don't know what time, but I'm just making sure that I have a set ready. So this one is just a fun one to do. Ooh. <clears throat> it's also very, very high to sing. <clears throat> Oh, oh, no, no, actually, I started with a new intro. Thank you, Texman. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I gotta focus. So that's a new one. Um, uh, thank you for bearing with me on things that I need to work on for next week. So yeah, that was a that was a fun one. Thank you for saying my Spanish was on point. Um, Jonathan speaks Spanish, so he kind of helped me out with that. Oh, over the rainbow. Okay, yes, over the rainbow. Let's do that one. <clears throat> of course, I have to make this into a medley. So I'm going to start off with "Sounds of Silence" by Simon and Garfunkel, and then we're going to do some "Over the Rainbow." in many different ways. I think I'm gonna play it on the ook and then I might sing it for you. Yeah, Pink Floyd, that's, a, I love Pink Floyd. I love the doors too, the doors are amazing. Cheers you guys to drinking water and staying, oh that's another good one, Roberto. Staying hydrated, all right. I like Jonathan's place because it's so calm. I live in like the heart of Honolulu which I, you know, is not <clears throat> as big as the cities that you guys have, but we have 1 million people um, and it gets pretty crazy. So it's nice to be here in the country where you hear roosters all the time. So I hope this song soothes your soul. This one I just put on my YouTube channel so you can listen to it over and over and over. Here we go. <laughs> And then we've got, um, I'm going to play Brada Is song as well. I'm going to somehow make, it's going to be a long song. Get ready. Okay.
so long. Well, it wasn't really that long, but there's a lot of changes in that one. So I'm glad you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, so you guys are asking what kind of ukulele this is. This is a Kamaka. It's a tenor size. So it's a second biggest size in all of ukulele's sizes. Ukulele's sizes come in four. So there's soprano, concert, tenor, which is what this one is. And then um, baritone, which I also have. I think maybe I'll play a baritone song for you. But this is my baby. It's five strings um, because I like to double the low G. Thanks, Kevin. Really appreciate um, you donating. Thank you so much. So instead, you know, most ukuleles sound like this, which is great. It really depends on what style you're playing. Um, and I just like the low G. Then I, I like it so much, I double it. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you have a hard name. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Vinyaj. I'm so sorry I did not make uh, say your name right, but thank you very much. Aloha. Yes, directions. That's a good one. Okay, let's do directions. And um, um, this song was a Nako Medicine for the People song and um, then was translated into Hawaiian. So you're gonna hear uh, some Hawaiian singing in this. And uh, so I'm really excited to share some um, culture with you. So I hope I remember how to play it. And we are gonna, th this is like a rehearsal. We're gonna figure it out. Yes, Roberto, I'm going to play it. And um, I think uh, I'll switch to, I have some other instruments to play for you as well. And I also want to do some original music. Um, I don't know Iron Maiden, so sorry. Ooh. Yes, okay.
Roberto. That one was called Directions. Um, and it's a Nako Medicine for the People song, but was translated by Havane Rios uh, into Hawaiian. So check it out. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. So just um, look for Directions and you'll find it. Thank you so much. Um, I have about 15 more minutes, so I think I'm going to switch instruments because I feel like it. Um, okay, all right, Joel, I'll play uh, Wish You Were Here for Pink Floyd. Um, and the other ones, I'm sorry, I don't know the other ones. Aloha, Brazil. Um, and uh, all right, now there goes my neighbor. Okay, hopefully he's not mad. Um, okay, all right, Wish You Were Here. <laughs> Body Surfing, and it is a Hawaiian song. It is. It's um, done by uh, Otasan, uh, an amazing ukulele player. Very, very big back in the day, and that song he wrote called Body Surfing because we love to body surf here. I'm sorry, honey, I don't know. Please don't um, don't worry. Be happy. And Jesse, I played Jolene earlier on, so just check it out. Um, mm, mm, mm. Let's do some guitar work now. Let's do some guitar All right, so let's make this a little bit up. Oh, nope, sorry, making this work. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So I am going to do um, an original song for you, and this one is called um, Goddess Rising. And I love it because it's very Spanish flamenco. There's a lot of fast right hand works. And um, this one is new. It's gonna be on the new album when I can record it, but I'm ready to record, but we can't go out. So we have to wait until uh, we can start recording it. Um, so I'm just gonna keep practicing this practicing this song until I can get back into the studio with Pierre. That's you're up at 4 a.m. My goodness me! I hope you can get some sleep tonight. All right, I don't know. Hopefully you can see this. <clears throat> this should be interesting. I cut myself. I was cleaning my cupboards and then I accidentally slipped and like got myself and so this should be interesting. <laughs> Goddess Rising it is a new original um, that I wrote and I have it on my YouTube somewhere. It's on my YouTube channel, but it's called Goddess Rising and I'm waiting to get back into the recording studio so I can play it and record it and work, uh, work on it. All right, you guys, I have some uh, time left and I just want to make sure I play all the songs that I wanted to play. Ooh. I want to do Malujia for you. Um, this is another original and it's on the guitar. And Malujia in Hawaiian means peace. 
And so I tried to think of her as a beautiful dancer and how she's always hard to find. We're constantly trying to find peace. We're constantly trying to find this beautiful hula dancer, Malujia. By the way, did any of you see my Tiny Desk concert? Um, if you haven't, you should definitely check it out. It was really fun. We did it in January and um, they put it out in March. So yeah, I'm glad you saw it. Thanks to you. Thanks you guys. Yeah, the Tiny Desk was really fun. Um, there's a link somewhere um, that, that, yeah, I have a Tiny Desk going out. Thank you. So this was the song <clears throat> that I ended the Tiny Desk concert with and it's called Maluhia. Here we go. <clears throat> You know what, let me just get some water because it's a singing one, so I want to make sure I'm hydrated. Hope you guys are doing all right. I'm sure it's very late where you guys are right now. Jonathan, what time is it? I think it's like four over here or five. It's 4.08. So, yeah, 7 p.m. over there. <clears throat> yeah. All right, you guys, that one was called Maluhia, and uh, I hope you liked it. That's another original, and that one was on uh, the Tiny Desk concert. Um, so you can check that out. And if you want to see me live stream again, I am doing a live stream next Saturday uh, with Playing for Change. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you liked it. 
So, um, you know, I'll put that information out there, but on Playing for Change um, channel, I will be doing their live stream. So I'm going to do one more song for you. And I think I'm going to play it on my baritone. And I'm going to do Neptune Storm on the baritone. It sounds amazing on the baritone. Yeah, it's been really interesting here since they've closed everything and you have to stay home. So, you know, people go to the beach and they have to be running. And if you sit down, then I hear that the cops will stop you and write you a fine if you stop. So people are like constantly exercising. I've never seen this amount of people exercising. Um, it's, yeah, amazing. I'm glad people are getting, you know, healthy and moving around. I tried running for the first time. That was painful. <laughs> so I will keep doing my yoga. My sister is an insane track runner. She actually broke a, a school record. Uh, she goes to UH and she uh, broke one of their school records. So I'm very um, proud of my little sister. And um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a crazy world. So stay safe. Make sure you wash your hands. Um, I think we're supposed to be wearing masks now when we go out to, pro, to protect people around us. So make sure you have your masks. And um, yeah, Dennis, just um, use your body weight instead of the, the dumb well, dumbbells. Um, oh, this is the wrong ukulele. Hold on. Let me get the baritone for you. Here is the big bombucha baby one. All right, I am going to add a moderator. Oh shoot, no, I don't want to, oh darn it. I don't want you to be, yeah, all right. So this is a good one to end with. one and then if you guys have any quick questions I'll probably answer some questions um, thanks so much for tuning in uh, let's see I put a new video on Instagram as well so check out my Instagram and uh, don't worry if you guys get crazy in the comments I've learned to put you guys in timeout so don't add any politics this is strictly for people healing and holding space so I am how old am I I'm 31 so be nice, and if not, you're going to go into timeout. So we're going to end with um, Neptune Storm.
All right, you guys, that last one. Thank you so much, David. Really appreciate it. Um, that was Neptune Storm, but on baritone ukulele. It's a original. And thank you so much for tuning in. I have one. Thanks, Kevin. Um, I have a Tiny Desk concert out. Make sure you check that out. And then I'm doing another live stream Saturday uh, on Play for Chains live stream. And so thank you so much. I'm going to answer some questions. So that's it for the music um, for now. So just uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to answer some of them. And uh, Gerard, I always see you with that arm bracelet. Does it have some significance to you? Um, I like this armband because... Um, it kind of shows where I'm from, you know, it's made out of abalone shell and uh, we use a lot of abalone um, and it just fits right and it doesn't get in the way and I just like the way that it looks. So that's why. All right, just another monkey. You are going into time out. All right, any other, when am I coming to Brazil? I would love to come to Brazil. I have not been there yet. The, the most south I've ever gone is um, Costa Rica. So I have yet to come to South America. Um, how long have I been playing ukulele? By the way, this is the yard. Um, I thought you guys would enjoy an outside feel. I have been playing for 26 years, I think. I'm 31 now, and I started when I was five. So, 31, 30, yeah, 26. How often do I practice? Um, I try and pick it up either every day or every other day, but I did a lot of my practicing when I was really young. Um, so, I am still practicing every other day. Uh, waking up with a M, what's your biggest influence? biggest influence would probably be that's a really hard question I mean of course the doors and Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin and you know a lot of finger style players but I also really enjoy um, shows and I like to try and take away something from any show I, I, I watch so I got to see Billie Eilish at South by Southwest last year which was amazing great voice so I'm just inspired by all types of different artists I love watching dancers I am dancing as well so you know every artist brings their own type of um, inspiration for me Hannah wants to know how many ukuleles do I own I think I have like eight um, something like that eight nine ten um, yeah but here let me show you this new one that I got um, from a friend. His name is Victor. He's from Chile. And he got me this one. It is a Tahitian ukulele. This is what it sounds like. Ooh. Isn't it fun? It's like a super uh, high-pitched uh, ukulele and I asked him um, to make me one because I have the new album which is going to be inspired by a lot of my Polynesian roots. Um, I am half Samoan, thanks to my mom, and half Howley, thanks to my dad from Arizona. Shout out to Arizona. I don't know what Howley means. Oh, Howley means Caucasian. Um, so I'm half Caucasian. Um, do I speak Spanish, Sofia? No, I don't. I want to learn. Um, gracias. <laughs> and uh, Portuguese, obrigado. Um, Carlos wants to know the hardest ukulele song I've played. <sighs> hardest ukulele song that I've played. Let me think about that. Hardest ukulele song that I've played. System of a Down Medley. Oh, yeah. Um, Beethoven. Yeah, System of a Down Medley. There's like a part in... Um, let me play it for you. Well, this is how it goes. It's Beethoven that I kind of added. Um, how does it go? And then I normally take it.
at the moment that, oh, sorry, hold on. Sorry about that. So at the moment, that's um, probably the hardest song that I play at the moment, uh, which is the System of the Down medley. It's the Beethoven part um, before we get crazy into System of a Down. Um, Adrian wants to know what inspires me to write music. Um, nature, nature does. Someone asked me if I speak Hawaiian pigeon. Oh man. Well, I'm born and raised here. Um, but I also have a super Caucasian Howley dad. And, um, but I, I know my pigeon at home, bro. How's it going? But I don't know if it's like super, super local kind, but if I need to, I can, I can bring up my, my pigeon if I need to. Yeah. Bra. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, will I come to Australia? Well, I would like to, after all of this craziness happens. I do tour a lot. Yeah, we've been to Australia, but they're wondering if we're gonna go to Australia again. Um, I do tour a lot, but it's honestly kind of nice to be at home at the same time because I'm constantly on the road um, in Europe and also um, the US. Um, yeah, so I'll make it there one of these days. Have I tried any plant medicine? And I'm learning to play for my wife and loving the ukulele I play every day. Any lo love songs you might recommend? Oh. Um, wise men say only fool ration. I say falling in love with you. I think that would be a good one. Um, um, and then plant medicine. My girlfriend um, does indigo elixirs and she has a lot of great plant medicine um, that I use every now and then for face, hair, um, pain, and moisturizing. What are my favorite fruits from Hawaii? You wanna go check it out? Here, let me show you some fruits from Hawaii. If you can see. Oh, how's that? Look at that, bananas. I love bananas. Look, even more bananas. Even more bananas. And um, there's some other spots. Um, Jonathan has some other spots. And uh, there's oranges, tangerines. So we're super blessed in Hawaii to have a lot of um, food from the ground. Uh, favorite part of Hawaii? I love Punalu'u, honestly. Punalu'u is my favorite spot because it's away from everyone, especially this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's doing stuff. I love Punalu'u, it's my favorite. Um, I'm not gonna tell you where I live. <laughs> um, do I speak Samoan? No, I don't. I only know a little bit here and there. Um, do I own any Hawaiian brand ukuleles? Yes, my big baby, my baby of the babies, the one that I take with me on tour, is a kamaka. Her name is Tiger Lily, and she is Hawaiian made. She is from Kamaka, Hawaii, uh, and I absolutely love kamaka. They've been building me ukuleles since I was five, and have always been really nice, and are a really nice family, and always take good care, good care of me. Um, What is my favorite fruit, Joel? Um, I like all the fruits. I gotta be in the right mood for bananas though. I love bananas with peanut butter after I do like a workout or something, that's my favorite. Um, thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed the tiny desk, you guys. Um, it's really fun to be able to talk to you and have this live chat, live stream. What island is my favorite, William, out of all of the Hawaiian islands? Uh, well, I was born and raised on Oahu, but um, I've been to almost all of the islands. I haven't been to Molokai yet, or of course, Ni'ihau, um, or Kaho'olawe, I haven't been there. But I love the big island because um, I definitely feel like you can still feel Pele and the Hawaiian gods energy over there. It's really like intense and raw energy there. So it's nice to be around that and um, the people there. Like that's real aloha over there. 
Shout out to Karen. Uh, have I ever owned a Kanilea? No, well, I played one for a little bit and they're great. Like Kanileas are also great ukuleles. They have their spot in Kaneohe. Um, my favorite venue. Ooh, my favorite venue is actually Ong King Art Center in Honolulu. Um, they're no longer open um, at their old spot, but that was my favorite place um, to play. And that's where I met Jonathan, actually. That's where we met. And we have been together for 10 years now. A long time. <laughs> Just joking. It's been great. I love, um, yeah, I love being with him. Um, what brand would I suggest for a beginner ukulele player? I would suggest um, brands such as Kala, Lani Kai, those are really good ukuleles that, you know, are good quality and um, good for beginner types. Um, yeah, Kala, Lani Kai. I know Makala is coming out with one, Mahalo. Um, thanks to your girlfriend, NG. I'm glad that she recommended um, my channel. How am I doing? Thank you so much for asking how I'm doing. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. I'm glad I'm able to talk to you guys and be able to connect with people um, virtually. So thanks for tuning in and thanks so much for the tip jar. I really appreciate that. That's going to help me out with my groceries for a little bit. Hawaii is very expensive to live. So I really appreciate you guys donating uh, and I hope you guys are doing okay and just know we're going to get through this and I would love to do another a live stream for you. Um, what do I love besides music? I love wine. <laughs> I love my white wine. I love yoga. I love uh, food. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and hanging out with my friends. I love, um, I've had some friends that I've known for over 10 years, so they definitely keep me grounded. And um, I love trying new foods and I love going to fancy restaurants and I love my wine. And I love, that's what I love. <laughs> yeah. Do I surf a lot, Rob? I don't. I can because I'm from here, but um, Jonathan does. Jonathan like is always at Diamond Head Lookouts, if you guys know where that is. Diamond Head Lookouts, and then he loves the North Shore. He'd like to go to, um, oh, what's the one? Um, starts with a P, not Pipeline. Jonathan, where do you like to go to surf? Quinnapoint. Uh, Point. Point. Yeah, Diamond Head. Yeah. Kai, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so he's a huge surfer. He loves surfing. Um, do I have any pets, Juliana? I wish. I travel so much that I'm not able to care for one responsibly. So I'm going to wait until I chill out with the touring before I can get myself a pug. I've always wanted a pug, hence why I have my um, stuffed, you'll see in my other ones, I have a stuffed toy, Chester. His name is Chester, and I just got a new stuffed toy named Boston. They're both pugs. Oh, can you describe how it was playing for um, John Travolta? That was pretty fun. Yeah, I got to play for John Travolta and his wife, Kelly Preston. I think I was 13. 14, 14 at the time. And um, he was really nice. He was very calm and very sweet. And uh, it was awesome. He was sitting right in the front and uh, was very present. You know, it really makes a big difference when you guys, the audience, are very present and watching. So thank you. Do I have a fear? Mm. Ooh. Uh, yeah, one of my fears is putting my hand down the, what are they, what is that in the sink called? The, disposal. Putting, the disposal. Oh my gosh. That's one of my fears. Just accidentally putting my fingers down there and it go, you know, goes off. That's definitely one of my fears. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to call it a day, but thank you so much for, um, being here and hopefully we can do this again. I'm doing another live stream with Playing for Change um, Saturday. So keep an eye out on my Instagram and Facebook. I'll definitely put some information out for that. So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. And here's a little bit of Hawaii for you. And take care, wash your hands and get some good sleep. Aloha, enjoy this time. See you. <laughs>